Hi, I'm Drew. And I'm Kathy. And we're back in the river again. Picking our ass a bit. Yeah, Saturday, June 25th, 2022. It's supposed to be sunny and near 90 degrees today. Yay. Taking advantage of the low water. Very low water. Which we didn't have last year. Last year we had record amounts of rainfall, record high river levels. So we're taking advantage of it this year. It's low. I see a bottle. Oh, it looks like a Grand Union Tea Company. Yep. Blown in mold. It's got a kind of a funny lip, but I think it was made that way. Grand Union Tea Company. First keeper. Let's see what this one is. Hmm. Might be a slick. Yep. Oh well. I thought it might have been a Maydale. I see something. like a part of a cruet set. Yeah, this is part of a set. I'm gonna held some kind of condiment or powder, cheese or something to put on your food. Just scoop this out of the water. It's a perfume. It's cute. What is this? Huh. I don't know, it looks like a it's glass. Wow. I don't know. Wow, what is it? It's a what is it? And what color is it? I can't tell. I don't know what this is. It almost looks like a like a lantern, but I, don't know. I think it's just clear glass. It's just got a coating of river crud. Well, that is interesting. Oh, it has writing on it. It has little tiny writing on it here. Let me see. I think it's a, it's got a serial number on it. And what's on the other side? 
A lot of traffic going by. Noisy. West Brothers Company. Now you should be able to identify it from that. Yeah, uh, someplace in Pennsylvania. Okay, well, that's the most interesting thing so far. What is it? <laughs> I think it's a submersible pump. <laughs> oh, VO valve, 1508. Oh boy. All right. Well, that's not what I was hoping for. Could be a check valve for it. Okay. Well, we got it out of there. I see a little bottle. Here it comes. a little bottle. Doesn't say anything? Yeah, it does. Oh, it does. I can't read it. And, let me see. Oh, Rick Secker's perfume. Oh, wow. Yay! I collect these. I mean, I have some fancy ones from this company. Yay! Let me knock the sand out. Yeah. Of it. It's still loaded with sand and stuff. Okay. Hey. It's like a small size of those Ritter bottles. Yeah. Some kind of food bottle, nothing great. Oh, too bad on the jug. signature there's no blue okay so you either it was on the other side or no big loss no big loss all right here comes the bottle oh it has writing a little little chippy around the lip let's see yep kinsman druggist augusta maine yep well, we'll compare it to what we have at home. It's a little, little chippy in the front of the lip, but not too bad. Kinsman druggist, I guess the main. Okay, so I think this is different from the one we have. I think the one we have says someplace else and Augusta Maine. Okay, and does the other one also have that circle? I don't remember. Something like it. Here comes the jar. It is. Yes, it looks like one of these English aqua. English pickle jar. Pickle, pickle jar. Fruit. These things are crude. They got crude, gloppy lips. And 
And you can't tell because it's all muddy. And they're whittling. Yeah. We'll have to clean it. You'll have to wait for the cleanup to appreciate this. One. <laughs> okay. I recognize him. <laughs> it's the headless man on a tractor. I have one of these at home. And I have one complete with his head. Let's see if this is whole and what it is. Well, it's whole, but it's no good. I see a face. Ah. Yikes. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is freaky. Whoa. And this is heavy. Whoa! Oh my gosh! What is it? I don't know, but it weighs a ton. I mean, it's a head. <laughs> oh. Wow! Yeah, it's heavy. kind of stoneware. Wow. There's mud in your eye. Wow. Well, I see a bottle, but I don't know if I can reach it. Yeah, we got low water today, but we're checking the deep spots that we can't usually get to. Oh no, it's a screw top. Okay. Yeah, deco screw top. I don't know if that's quite fancy enough for me. J.B. Corsar, North Sudbury, Mass. That would have been a nice milk bottle. Yep. Too bad. Yep.
I don't think we have any milk bottles from Sudbury, do we? I don't know. I don't know either. But we definitely didn't have this one. No. Oh well. I think I got a bromo. Yep. Bromo seltzer. It's a machine made one. It's a little different looking. The um, embossing. It's not deep cobalt, but it might be like a nice cornflower blue. We'll have to see when it's cleaned up. So we're out of the boat now and we're just walking along. It is beautiful out. Birds are singing and Drew has a find over there. So let's go see what it is. I got something. Wow. That's black glass. It's English or Irish beer. It might be pondled. Look at that. Black glass. Ooh, black glass. Oh, chip on a lip. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ponald. Stop recording. Maybe. Ponald. Yeah. Oh, look at the droopy lip. Wow. Yeah, it's a little chippy up there, but this is still a cool bottle. Look at that drippy lip. Let me wash it off a little bit. That looks pondled. Yeah. Yay. Hey, black glass pondled. Yay. Bottle. Yep. Okay, here's the game. Bottle or brick? It's a bottle. I wonder if this says anything on it. It's a big one. Oh no! <laughs> it's a giant version of one of these um like apothecary bottles with the measurements on it. It's huge though. Wow. Ah, I was hoping this was gonna have some nice embossing on it, some kind of medicine or a pharmacist's name or something. But that lip is pretty common on this type of bottle. But it's not a brick.
Oh, another one of these. We like these. The car. Ooh, nice one. Missing a couple of wheels, but that's to be expected. Nice. Looks like a 1950s. Huh. Hot Wheels. Yay. See if I can wash it off without falling in the water. I think I see a Coke bottle. Yep, Boston Mass. This would have been nice. This would have been an HT Helmbold's Genuine Fluid Extracts, Philadelphia. This is early smooth base. You can see the seam goes right across the bottom. I used to have a pontled one. It might even be pontled if you look hard. I see a button. See if I can get it without losing it. There it is. Last button. Oh, here's the uh, burner to an oil lamp. Burner to an oil lamp. Kathy said she thinks she sees a bottle over there. I don't know if it's good yet. It might be no good. What is it, a Johann Hoff? Is there such a thing as a slick Johann Hoff? 
Oh no. No, it's all right. It's not a Johann Hoff. It's like a little malt beer though, but it is old. Yeah. Yay. That's good. Amber. A little bit of red in it. Okay. I was hoping it was embossed or something. But... Or a started stubby would have been nice. But... <laughs> it's okay. Just pulled this little bottle up. Dr. O. Phelps Brown, Jersey City, New Jersey. No lip chip. And some of those are really old and cool. Yeah, not this one. Dr. O. Phelps Brown, Jersey City, NJ. That's not old and crude. Yeah, it's sort of old. Well, this is where we found the chimp change last time. And I just found a nickel. Look around some more. Oh, Penny! Yeah. Oh, I see another nickel! Yay! Eleven cents. Good. <laughs> Chimp change. Can add it to your chimp dish. Pretty funny. Looks are and everything though. Mm -hmm. Trash removed. Okay, what on earth is this anyway? Look at that. Oh, my. This is heavy. I cannot believe this. I can't stop staring at this, and it can't stop staring at me. I think the feeling's mutual. <laughs>